Hi everyone! <clears throat> Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Today it's haul time! So today we are talking about the steals and the bargains that I made in sales season. All of the items that I will talk about today I will link down below because some of them I know are still available. Also if you are new to this channel welcome my name is Evelyn. If you are into the good old fashion hauls, fashion shopping, luxury designers but in a mindful and more realistic approach then please make sure to subscribe, to like and always feel free to leave me a comment down below. I love to chat with you guys and of course I highly encourage you to also follow me on Instagram. Such good fun, I promise. So let's start with item number one that I got on the sale and that is the item that I'm wearing right now. This is a top made from 100% viscose but it is actually knitted. It does look a little bit of like transparent here on the screen but it's actually not in real life. And it is of a very like fitted and thin yet quite heavy fabric and that just makes like the whole silhouette in my opinion very very elegant. It is basically just like your normal turtleneck sweater in like a cream neutral color but it has this beautiful cut out here and it also has a little bit like two long sleeves and the sleeves also have these little cutouts here that you could technically put in your thumbs which I don't do honestly. I mostly wear it like this because I love like a little bit of like draping going on here. So even though this is viscose it definitely has a little bit of a satin or silky sheen to it which I like and which makes this top very very festively appropriate. I just got this like a couple of weeks ago and I already wore it a lot. I wore it on date night, I wore it on my Christmas like team party that I had with my team for work and I also ended up wearing it on New Year's Eve even though I had like this crazy sequiny top by Rotate. I switched it last minute and did put on this one because it's just because I don't know it's just super comfortable it's flattering and I love it. Uh, this item is by Peter Petrov I failed to mention that until now forgive me and Peter Petrov is one of those like newer um, Eastern European based designers which I absolutely love. I did not mention Peter Petrov as one of the designers that I wanted to get items from in my last wishlist video even though I actually intended to because Magda Butrim, Nanushka and Peter Petrov are like those three design houses or brands that I really wanted to add to my wardrobe for quite some time. I really enjoy the design approach by Peter Petrov. It's a little bit different, a little bit edgy, a little bit like leaning towards a more let's say individualistic or eccentric side yet Peter Petrov still keeps it super elegant and super high fashion and super classy in the same at the same time which I totally love and I think that this top represents that design approach very very well. So yeah I'm very happy that I got it. I think I actually saw this top first on Victoria by In The Fro if I'm not wrong. I think she has this one too and I really liked this detail here. I think it's you know it's feminine, it has a certain sexiness or like sensuality about it but it's still super versatile. I love to wear this with like a high-waisted skirt or high-waist trousers obviously but I also think due to the fact that this is viscose and it has this like very silky and thin fabric to it I will totally wear this in summer as well. I think this is a brilliant item that you can wear all year round and yeah I see myself getting a ton wear of this baby here. And if you watched my new year's resolutions video I also mentioned that I want to you know reduce my ready-to-wear purchases in 2020. This was technically a purchase of 2019 but however the ready-to-wear items that I do get I wanted to be or I do want to be a little bit more special and I think that this top just brings all of that to the table while still you know feeling like Evelyn. The next item on my list you already saw me wearing in my New Year's resolution video as well and this is this beautiful jumper by Isabelle Marant. I was so in love with this year's fall winter collection by Isabelle Marant. I actually wanted to get another jumper by her but this one I unfortunately did not get my hands on so I will try to hunt it down on the pre-loved market. I will insert a picture of that one here. However I did get my hands on this baby here and this still has this beautiful huge puffy 80s like sleeves to it and then more of a classic boxy yet slightly fitted cut 
with this beautiful knitted pattern on it as well. And I have to admit, I wasn't super sure about the color when I got it because it is this like dirty, taupey, almost greenish beige color. But when I started to wear it, I fell more and more in love with it. It is so cozy. It is extremely warm. I'm someone who is always cold during winter time. So this one is perfect for me. And I am so obsessed with these eccentric, huge shoulders. Like the whole shoulders 80 strand, it's like, it's totally for me. I could buy endless items with these, you know, oversized or padded shoulders. I just can't get enough of it. I absolutely love it. But beside the fact that this sweater has like these more eccentric sleeves, it is super timeless. I see myself wearing this for many, many more seasons. It's beautiful on like a casual day when you just want to wear it with a pair of jeans, but you can obviously also style it up with a pair of like white pants or like high-waisted pants and it is not scratchy at all. This baby I actually got for a brilliant deal because this sweater I think initially was like 600 euros, which I have to admit for the new price it would have been too much for me because this is not like 100% cashmere and Isabel Maron knits sometimes don't hold up the test of time, you know, as well as one would love to. I was very lucky to get this, I think, 50% off. And then I had like a loyalty bonus voucher from that particular department store that I got this from, which gave me 125 euros off in addition. So this baby was a true bargain. So now let's move on to my favorite category. And these are, and that is shoes. So in 2019, I got myself the Fendi ankle boots with the square toe which I already introduced to you in one of my hauls before because I wanted to start to wear more heels and more you know sophisticated shoes because I found myself buying and wearing so many sneakers during the like past two years that you know I just wanted to add something to my style that was different that was more feminine that was a little bit more grown up. So I ended up getting these Fendi booties and I loved them. I wore them so much. I really didn't expect that to be honest, but these are just your perfect everyday booty. So once I got comfortable wearing these, I decided to move on to another pair of, you know, a mid heel and that is these babies here. So I was on the hunt or like on the search for a pair of sleek black smooth leather pointed toe ankle boots for a while now and I kind of never got my hands on a perfect pair because either the heel was too high, too low um, or like the tip was you know too narrow. It really was a tricky search. However, I just now found these beautiful Valentino booties. I will definitely try everything to find these online and for my international followers as well, if you don't happen to live in Germany. So I will try to definitely find like a international shopping link for these as well because they are so comfortable. I already showed you these on my Instagram account. I wore these once on New Year's Eve and I love them. The heel height of these, what is it? Maybe like seven centimeters or eight max is very, very comfortable. It's very easy to walk in if you are someone like me who is not used to, you know, walk in high heels all the time or is also on the taller side. I am personally on the taller side. I am one meter 74. What I also love about these is that the tip, it is just a tiny bit of a longer silhouette. And therefore this shoe is much, much more comfortable, especially for like a pointed tip shoe, rather than, you know, if you compare it to like a Jean Vito Rossi or a Prada boot or something like that. So these are very, very simple, very minimalistic in itself. They don't have anything on them, except they have a zippy here, which also says Valentino Garavani. And then the only accent or like the only extra thing that they have is on the back, which is like the iconic rock stud that many of the Valentino Garavani shoes have and like this little red leather thingy, basically. This is like more of a playful accent that, you know, I didn't really need in my life. This is nothing like that sold me on these shoes but it's also nothing that, you know, annoys me or that is like too much or something. It's just a little bit of a, you know, sexy accent that still is 
so small that when you wear them you hardly even see it anyways so yeah i absolutely love these shoes also even though that was actually not planned i totally see myself getting a pair of smooth leather leggings now that i have these shoes because you know lydia elise millen I think I mentioned this person in every single video of mine. Is that true? Can you please tell Lydia that I am probably the biggest fangirl on YouTube out there? I'm sorry. You guys are probably like, oh my god, she talks about Lydia again. Honestly, I just love how Lydia wears her like leather leggings with shoes like this or similar to this so that like the whole leg basically has this like smooth leather effect and it just makes your legs look so long and so slim and it's just so flattering. I can't wait to try that look out now that I have these babies. And then of course there is a pair of sneakers that I just could not say no to. So these are... Whoa. So these are the new Bottega Veneta Speedster trainers, which I also had my eyes on for, I think the whole spring summer season, to be honest. I didn't get them because I didn't want to get another pair of sneakers for 600 euros, honestly. And I also ended up getting these for like 250 or something. So very good bargain. You know, if you already follow me, I do have the new Bottega Veneta pouch in black and I love it. I am all about, you know, the new Bottega aesthetic. I really, really appreciate it personally even though I know that some of you are old Bottega fans however I still totally appreciated these shoes because because they are kind of your chunky sneaker but like the silhouette in itself is very very timeless honestly and I also love the fact that they are very understated they are like just white smooth leather all over no logo or anything like that and then the only like branded accent that they actually have are the laces and this part here where Bottega Veneta is embossed and that's that I think that for a sneaker they are super sophisticated and super cool I love the shade of white which is honestly not like a clean hard white it's honestly more of a like off-white like a grayish white which is so beautiful I love that and yeah I actually did not have the chance to wear them until now you know most of those days when I wanted to wear them it was raining and I also don't feel these with like a black sock I don't know why but I think maybe because they are so new and so bright I want to wear them with like a naked ankle which is not a good idea in Germany right now so maybe these will have to wait a little bit longer until I you know get my wear out of them and now last but not least the highlight that you've all been waiting for if you follow me on instagram and that would be ta -da, this balenciaga hourglass coat oh isn't this just oh my god this coat is perfection this coat is so freaking stunning i just i literally can't get over it i can't get over the beauty of this coat okay this is getting heavy even though i want to hug this coat all day long so i will insert a couple of pictures instead so if you follow me here you already know that i talked about the balenciaga hourglass blazers many many times before i also mentioned it in my items i would steal from influencers video that i did like half a year ago or something and once on fashion week i saw someone wearing the coat version of this one in like a very bold pattern however i really really liked that one too but i kind of always focused on the blazers because i just assumed you know i will get more wear out of a blazer than i will get out of a coat because a blazer you can wear all year round right the blazers are super expensive and the coats are even more expensive obviously so i never saw myself getting one of these blazers for full price so and i was very very lucky that like a couple of weeks ago i was in a local department store in my hometown here and i got my hands on the balenciaga hourglass blazer in a double breasted version in black and on this baby here so those of you who actually follow lorna lux she got this blazer by the same department store for 50% off and when I saw uh, this coat I mean sorry and when I saw this coat on her I was like why didn't I think of the coat why was I always focused so much on the blazer the coat is amazing <clears throat> so I went to the store I tried on the blazer and I tried on this baby here and I ended up getting both first and I also already posted a picture of the blazer as well as of this coat on my Instagram. However, I ended up returning the blazer because the blazer was kind of super chunky or like bulky 
chunky is the wrong word here, Evelyn. When I tried it on at home, I felt like it did nothing for me. It was unflattering. It made me have kind of huge shoulders. It didn't sit tight enough on the waistline for a blazer. And then it was huge, you know, because on the hips because of, you know, the hourglass shape. So I was kind of not feeling it, honestly. It, I don't know why, even though I always loved the idea of having this blazer and I tried it on many times in the store, it always looked amazing. Yet when I got home, it felt like I was wearing a can, like a beer can or something. It was just weird. So I went back to the store, I returned the blazer and I got this baby instead because somehow the coat sits so much nicer on my body than the blazer did. You know, the coat is also double-breasted. It has these crazy shaped and structured shoulder pads. It also has like the hourglass cut and the shape uh, to it. But yet it's just so much more flattering. It looks so beautiful, even though it is very, very branded because it literally has the Balenciaga logo written all over it. But due to the fact that it is very dark gray and the logo is black and also diagonally placed, it just somehow just looks like a pattern. You don't initially see like at first glance that it is like a Balenciaga logo. At least that's like what how I feel about it. And that's why I still got it, even though it is like very heavily branded, obviously. I honestly think that the hourglass shape and those diagonal logos, they just like bring a certain dynamic to the item that is very, very unique. I also love the fact that this is a coat that is very, very iconic for Balenciaga due to the silhouette, yet it is not something that you see like around everywhere, you know? In my latest wishlist video, I talked about the Max Mara teddy coat that I initially wanted to get myself because it's just like this beautiful yet cozy, um, statement coat, you know, and I am very happy that I got this instead for even a better price and for less than a Max Mara coat would cost me, even though this coat usually costs double of a Max Mara teddy coat. So yes, money saved. Because this is something that you just see much less people wearing and it's just, yeah, it's more unique. It's more special. The quality of this coat, I really just wish you could just touch it right now with me. It's amazing. It's so stunning. I I can't wait to, I can't wait to, you know, wear this with sneakers. I can see myself wearing it with, you know, these sneakers or with my Dior Fusion sneakers, like my sock sneakers, or, you know, in a more elegant way with my new booties or with like any booty, basically. I think that this coat can look amazing with so many different styles. You can style it up in a super like high fashion, whatever way, but you can also wear it in a more, you know, laid back, casual, luxurious way, for example, with sneakers and with my Bottega pouch, for example. So yes, I can't wait to wear the hell out of this baby because yeah, and it's just like such a stunner, such a highlight, such a power piece that I just think is so great to start the new year with. So yeah, that is it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got inspired and I also hope that you guys got some amazing deals out of the season sale as well, just as me. I am very, very pleased. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.